Hello and welcome to Halo Forge Epidemic. This is Oakley Hadef and I'm here to bring you a new Forge tips and tricks and this one is Sky Scrapers. So this was brought to me um, by a member of the community. His name is, uh, his gamertag is Shardslayer and he is known on YouTube as Fud for Fatboy and on Forge Hub as uh, Fud for Fatboy, so the same name. So you may recognize him and he does, he's made some cool maps and he sent me this tutorial on how to make skyscrapers and I felt this would be useful for people looking to make urban settings or some sort of game where you need a lot of verticality. Um, so he's got a lot of different um, styles and they're all really really neat. So the main thing you're going to be employing is the wall coliseums, obviously the biggest piece. So, you're, so um, for this design you're going to put up and down on the sides and then to sort of make a cool coloring um, geometric scheme and sort of texture what he did is he put these walkway larges I can pull this out for you guys um, just so you understand it's pretty simple but basically you have this walkway large sticking up and down like that and then what you're gonna do is put three of them coming up and around like this um, to finish off this sort of rounded bend up here and though they stick out you could be able to cover that up but he left it like that maybe for some sort of aesthetic detail or flares on the side um, who knows what this is um, then over up on the side, he uses brace larges to cover that up, and on the side he has 5x1s, and then over here are some antenna pieces. And I think the antenna pieces are pretty nice um, from a distance to make it seem like um, this skyscraper is actually inhabited. They have some satellites on the top for TV or whatever for communication, or just some sort of weather, weather van or something like that. I don't, I don't know. But uh, it just helps add to the profile image of the skyscraper. Now moving over here, um, what might be a little more obvious is if you're going to round off the front, why not use a rounded piece? So here you use the circular ramp large um, just to finish it off and so that's going to make your building a bit wider. As you can see, he does make his skyscrapers very, very tall. Um, feel free to make it whatever height you want, whatever is good for you, but as you can see here, um, you can build it really, really high. Over at the top again, brace larges do come in handy for patching and gap, uh, patching the gaps up at the top. And over here, he's put some, just uh, some, uh, what are these, bank, two by twos, I believe, yep, to cover that up, make it seem like there's a little entrance. And then over here, um, because this part stuck out a little bit more and it has this um, cut out edge, he had to move the wall coliseum up a bit. So to compensate for that over in the back, uh, he's had to add a little angle. So in the back, you might see that some of your skyscrapers are a bit off, but that's something you can compensate for by doing other designs. Now over here, uh, for the one, for the uh, for the front, he's used the walkway uh, larges, the same technique. And then over here, he's actually left windows. So that's pretty cool. It gives a little dimension to your skyscraper. You can see on the inside. And what you could do is maybe add some details, or actually have players be able to go inside here. So that may be kind of cool. Um, over here, what you can see is another one. And I'll just pan around this. You can see it's pretty neat. Um, he's used a lot of glass. Now that might lag up your game, um, so it's up to your discretion to choose just how much you want to add here, but the glass does make a really cool effect to your skyscraper, especially as I said, if you're going to be allowing players to play inside. So that's really cool, really neat, and again on top, the brace larges to serve as the roof. Now um, as we're moving along, he has two more, these become sort of L-shaped, again the walkway larges around the side, um, and on the top what he's done is he's used these bunker pieces. I'll pull that out for you just so you understand what it is. So this is, yes, a bunker small piece. And usually these aren't very uh, useful, but I guess here he's found a nice use for them to make it seem like some sort of ventilation shaft that you would um, sort of come out of or something like that. So that's kind of cool. He's made uh, two of them. So that's kind of a, a neat use for that. I've never seen that before, and it looks really nice. Um, moving along, he's made, again, the L-shaped. This time he's implemented the... Um, the glass pieces here so you can see inside again as I pointed out that can be useful and what I really love what he's done over here is by using the brace pieces up here brace tunnels he's managed to make it seem like it's holding this part here and by putting a bunch of 2 by ones he's made this sort of circular piece and it all holds up this platform here so this might be some sort of window cleaning device or station and I think that was a really neat detail that really helped sell the effect especially in combination with the windows that he has here so that's a really cool design um, so overall guys it's pretty basic in terms of how you're going to build these but I just thought I would show off some of the architecture that he had it's really neat and again it can serve many purposes especially especially for taller urban maps so thanks guys this has been Oakley High Def with the Halo Forge Epidemic and I'm signing out thank you